Hi. I'm Carol. I'm here to get your x-ray done for you. Okay. All right. What's going on with you today? My butt hurts. Did you fall or, you, or what happened? Um, I just woke up and my butt hurts. Okay. Like right here. Is there any chance you could be pregnant? Um, no, you're probably too old to be pregnant, huh? What? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna, need you to, I'm gonna need you to get on the table and lay on your belly, on the table, with your head down at that end. Don't touch me. Oh. You need some help, ma'am? No, I got it. I need it. Slide a little. Just need to slide. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, we're good. Let's do this. All right. Bring your legs together as much as you can. What? I don't want you to fall off. Don't touch my butt. What are you doing? I'm just setting up the tube to take your picture. A tube? Is that gonna hurt? No, it's not gonna hurt. Oh, All right, hold real still for me, okay? What? I'm gonna take your image. Huh? I need you to be still. Lay flat. Don't Norman. touch me. All right. Don't move, be real still, okay? I don't like her very much. Rude. Shana, come look at this picture. Look how big her butt is. Oh my gosh. Are they implants? It's got to be fake. Oh my goodness. Her butt is so big she can barely get on the table. <laughs> yeah, let's go. She'll miss Bidet. will be fine. Don't feel for my... <laughs> That's some good Cheetos, man. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what happened? Butter my biscuits. I'm getting down. I'm getting down. And I'm going to get out of here. She is so rude. negligence and lack of ethics and who here is speaking for Miss Beatrice Boudet? Thank you Your Honor. Today I would like to discuss the case that my client Miss Boudet has against Carol of Providence Radiologic Services. The case against Miss Smith is very clear. 
Mm -hmm. She failed in her duty as a professional technologist. Mm -hmm. She left my patient alone. And why did she leave my patient alone? Because she wanted to show off pictures and violate my patient's privacy mm -hmm. because she thought her appearance was humorous. She left my patient alone with no directions or indications of when she would return. My patient having to go on a very rude acting technologist had to decide, did she stay there for an indeterminate amount of time, or did she get up and be fine a more suitable and comfortable position? She was rude. She was rude. Her lack of professionalism greatly diminished Miss Boudet's confidence in her ability to care for her. Miss Boudet did not know when she would return. She did not have clear directions, and she was left alone and in pain on a very hard table. Miss mm -hmm. Boudet. <laughs> Miss Boudet was acting in the best interest for her own safety, and the negligence of Miss Carol Smith resulted in her injury. Miss Carol Smith violated her own code of ethics by leaving my patient unattended for her own personal reasons and violating her privacy, and today I will show that very clearly. Thank you. That's right. She was rude. She was very rude. She was really hurting my butt more. And who here is speaking on behalf of Carol Smith of Providence Imaging Services? I have a statement, Your Honor. I will rise to the podium. <clears throat> In the case against my client, Miss Smith, I don't think there's a case at all. Miss Boudet was a difficult patient who did not listen. She didn't. And she was also not following directions which were clearly stated by my client. The only reason why we're here is her own negligence and basically there is no case. She, there is no case. The patient should have stayed on the table and if she did, this would have been completely avoided. But since she was a difficult patient, she had some prejudices against my client, which I don't even want to go into. And she directly contradicted her orders. Now, I know we're in a sue happy society, and I know I'm not saying anything against you, Ms. Boudet, but I think you're, you're on a long stretch here with this case. Absolutely. There is no case. You don't even have a professional witness. There is no case here, Your Honor. Clearly About that professional witness, ma'am. Hello, Your Honor. I'm Dr. Joseph Mustache, a radiologist at FTCC Hospital. I'm here as an expert medical witness on behalf of the plaintiff, Ms. Beatrice Boudet. The plaintiff went to have an exam done by the defendant because of pain in her coccygeal area. After reviewing the image, I noticed that the plaintiff suffered from a coccygeal fracture. While in the care of the defendant, Ms. Boudet fell from the table and sustained multiple injuries. Ms. Boudet came to FTCC Hospital for a follow-up to see how she was doing, and she found out that she suffered from fractures to her coccyx, her sacrum, her hip, she tore ligaments in her C-spine and twisted her ankle. I am convinced beyond a reasonable doubt that had the defendant not left Miss Boudet alone for such a long period of time, she would not have fallen off the table and sustained these injuries. Due to her current dilapidated state, Miss Boudet will not be able to work for an indefinite amount of time and will need a strict physical therapy regime. In conclusion, in my professional opinion, and medic as a medical doctor, and based on the North Carolina statutes of medical malpractice, the defendant, Ms. Carol Smith, should be found guilty. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. My name is Mr. Jackson, Michael Jackson. I have been head of the radiology department for over 30 years now. Mrs. Carroll has been with me for at least 20. And she's been acting out these last couple months. I'm not sure why. Maybe because of a marital dispute. 
I'm not really sure, but I know for a fact she did send pictures to other employees of Miss Booty, Booty, and she has violated A R R T code of ethics, and she will be fired. Miss Boudet, if you can please take the stand. Yes, Your Honor, I will. <clears throat> With great difficulty. All right. Thank you, Miss Boudet. Can you please state your version of events? Well, Your Honor, my, my side of the story Carol, from the beginning, was rude. She was very rude, Your Honor. Basically, I was told to lay on the table, and I did for like 30 minutes. She proceeded to leave me by myself, and I tried to get down, cause it hurt her, cause I hurt my butt. <laughs> Anyways, she left me. I didn't see her or hear from her about anything. So guess what I did? I tried to get down. She left the table up so high, I fell. I fell really hard and broke every bone in my body and my soul. And my soul. All I'm trying to say today is that Carol should not be a radiologic technologist. Anymore. Anymore. Thank you, Miss Boudet. You may return to your seat. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. I have prepared a statement on behalf of my defense today. Miss Boudet was rude and obnoxious and refused to follow instructions. I told her to remain on the table while I took her image. She took it upon herself to get off the table without assistance, which led to her falling. When I tried to help her up, she refused my help and got up on her own. If she was injured so badly, how was she able to get up on her own? If she had just followed instructions, she wouldn't have fallen and we would not be here today wasting everyone's time. I have been doing this for 20 years and no one has ever questioned my abilities or accused me of neglect. I don't feel anything I did was negligent. Miss Boudet is just looking for a way to make more money to pay for her butt implants. Oh no, she didn't! Order, order in the court. I will not have this kind of outrage. Okay, I think I've heard everything I need to hear today. And for now, we will take a short recess. In closing, after hearing both sides and reviewing all testimony and evidence, I have come to my final decision in this matter. In the matter of Miss Beatrice Boudet versus Miss Carol Smith of Providence Imaging Services, I find in favor of Miss Boudet. I feel the actions of Carol Smith resulted in injury, pain, and suffering on behalf of Miss Boudet. I believe Carol Smith violated her professional code of ethics in the following ways. She failed to act professionally and respond to her patient's needs and provide high quality patient care. She failed in respect to Ms. Boudet's dignity and lack of discretion. She did not practice appropriate ethical conduct and protect the patient's confidences. All of these items are a direct violation of the American Registry of Radiologic Technologists Code of Ethics. I hereby order Carol Smith to pay the plaintiff $100,000 in compensatory damages to compensate for Ms. Boudet's past, present, and future medical expenses. I also charge Ms. Carol Smith with payment of Ms. Boudet's non-economic charges in the amount of $75,000 for her pain and suffering. Finally, I find in favor of the plaintiff in the amount of $250,000 for all punitive damages resulting from Ms. Carol Smith's reckless actions. I hereby find Ms. Carol Smith guilty of medical malpractice and professional negligence. This case is now closed. You may rise. <laughs>